Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day this is for you. It still is like mid morning for me. It's at 9.53 in the a.m. Hey, welcome. It's me, Wingish Ning Bang, Majeki Quay, sweet grass water medicine woman, natural friendly, freaky ass medicine woman. That make a difference up there. Not much, eh? You see? Not much. Sun's coming in there. I'm trying to stay in the shady part. They're getting woo into the sun. Into the sun. Yeah, oh, right. Sweet grass water medicine woman. You friendly, freaky ass medicine woman. Chrissy had a car. Chrissy car superstar. All this beautiful divine being right here. And welcome, you beautiful divine beings, right here, too. And I want to say happy birthday to my favorite girl in the world. It's her champagne birthday today. Oh, how I love my girl. Well, she's only seven, so she she can't have champagne today. <laughs> Ow. Yes. I know, right? It's a day one of my dreams came true. All my children's birthdays is a day my dream came true. Because they're all... My dreams come true. You know, we look back. I don't, I don't regret anything. But then when it comes to my girl, there are some things that... Well, she's been estranged from her mother. She's been alienated from her mother. People with strong opinions like to voice it to her and then it comes out of her mouth to her mother just horrible you know, when you think about it it's it's not okay to alienate a child from either of their parents but think about it right to alienate a boy from his father to alienate alienate a girl from her mother That's something you should be healthily ashamed of yourself if you're doing and see that you're doing it and stop doing it. So it's not fair to that little girl. Never mind the full grown mother. It's not fair to that little girl. Think about what you're doing to that little girl or that little boy when you're alienating them from their own parent and a parent that loves them. A parent that always, always puts them first and even doing their self-care is doing their self-care so they can be more there for their children. So within Wednesdays and, you know, October is Domestic Abuse of Violence Month, Domestic Abuse of Violence Month. <laughs> And when I went through, it was so subtle. When they say they can't control you, they control how they see you, and they can. And they go for things that are the most important to you. The ones that are more most important to you. Okay, keep you separate from them too. I mean, I did default. He He, he talked and he knew. Like he knew what was going on in my body, you know, he seemed to show that understanding. And then even after years, I tried again. I don't regret that at all. I wouldn't have three of my dreams come true without him. So I'm so grateful. And I always love him for that. And I always make sure my kids know that. I am human. Even when it slips out, this isn't about that, you know. Some very beautiful things. Very beautiful beings. I'm going to let this out because I got to go and get shopping and I want to get an excitement for my little girl. My kids have learned this entitlement stuff too. 
which is difficult. Good mama, don't play that way, right? You give to receive, right? They come up and ask for me, and I sing to them like my mom sung to me. What have you done for me lately? Do, 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 do. Ooh, 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 yeah. What have you done for me lately? Do, 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 do. <laughs> it's not for me, it's to contribute to your home, because that's part of life. They don't know how to do this stuff. I mean, seriously, if we don't teach them to do their laundry, if we don't teach them to clean a toilet, if we don't teach them, who's going to do it for them when they get out on their own, right? We can't do everything for them. We do not. We do no service to our children, for our children, doing everything for them. We can't go do all their schoolwork for them. What are they going to learn from that? If we just give them all the answers, if we do everything for them, what are they going to learn? I just read something, and yeah, that was a great post. Yeah. A friend of mine, I shared that and saw it there too. That we keep, you know, it's like boredom is a bad thing for our kids, right? But when we were bored, where we found those hobbies, and it is, right? How do you find your interest if you're just filled with boredom? So then all kids, all they want to do is this, right? So then we're going to have a bunch of kids that think they're going to be YouTubers and gamers, and there we go. Does this world need a bunch of YouTubers and gamers? There's a place for that, yeah, but do they need all the children to be... Right? So if we just keep putting this in front of them, how is that? And now we've got commercials saying, oh, screen time is family time. What happened to the connection? Human bodies need physical human connections, not screen connections. This disconnects us. This doesn't connect us more, right? This could connect us to somebody, hey, on the other side of the world, but what about those people right in here in our own homes, right? another post I see I see that too everybody's trying to influence others and strangers but they're not putting that care in their own home <gasps> I could kind of see how I was doing that myself but it's not because I didn't want to put it in my home It's because I didn't think well you know they're just taking and taking and taking it doesn't feel good because it's just it's taking I'm not feeling feeling filled as I'm giving you know because I keep because it's just completely going. There's not time to fill me up because I'm letting it go as fast as it's coming in. So I'm not letting it have any time to fill me up. Well, it's also because it's always busy out here. There's always something calling for my attention, right? One gets going, they all get going. And, you know, the kids are a great team. You know, teaming up to not listen to their mother, teaming up to just go into their rooms. And I love my kids. This is what kids do. But there is an extreme here. When there's alienation, when they've been taught they shouldn't have to do chores, and mom's just slave driving, mom's just using her pain to be lazy, or pff, mom's just faking it, whatever. Uh, some things I know, it's, it's in black and white what's been told to my kids, right? Black and white, and then I've heard it from my kids, so, and then I see it, okay. So I know this crazy making stuff, that gaslighting, when there's stuff going on behind your back. You think, I'm go I must be going crazy. Like, like, people wouldn't really do that. Like, these people, people that I love. People that think that they know me, but they really don't because they never took the time to really get to know me beyond their perception of me, right? So, right? Do you get to know people beyond your perception of them? Do you see who they really are? Or are you just, no, this is how I see you. This is who you are to me. That's it. Nothing else you can be but this to me. I don't know if any of the ramblings making sense, but that's tough. And I need to switch it around. I need to sw swing it, right? Because it's her champagne birthday. I want to go out, get something special, do something special for her. But you know what? What, what? what does that do? Those things fall. If that's expected, it's not special. And right now it's like competition because there's other people that, you know, back things up and making promises. Promising them princesses at the party and all that because they know them. Mm -hmm. Like, so hey, well, Maureen, I can't. My, whoa. You don't love me. You're not getting princesses at my party or whatever that is, right? It's. I'm not competitive, especially for people's affection. I won't chase you. Because you know what? That hurts me more, right? Why well, go and make you have to say, Look it, I don't like you no more. Get away from me. Why would I want to do that to myself? That's happened too many times before. So I learned my lesson. So, right? 
I don't need to know. If you don't like me, you have issues with me, you don't want to be around me, that's fine. To each their own, right? We're not all going to resonate. I'm not everybody's cup of tea. That's fine. But you don't need to come tell me your opinion of me, right? That's another thing, right? Everybody's got those buttholes. Do we like to show everybody our buttholes? So why do we need to tell everybody our opinion? Yeah, that's another way to look at it. Yeah. I don't know, but we're going to switch up. We're going to turn around. Let's just get a card here. Work on my things. Oh, there. I, I turned it around last night. It's bawling my eyes out last night because it's garbage day, right? One chore now. One friggin' chore. That just gets tossed around. You should see the friggin' trail now out there because uh, I'm freaking upset with you that I even have to do this. Like, this is beneath me. To do chores and chip in around my home? Goodness, woman. But you're trying to make me a responsible adult? Trying to teach me how to take care of my home? What it's like in the real world? That you get fired from a job if you don't do it the way your boss tells you to do it? That there's rules in the world? You can't just go do whatever you want, take whatever you want, and then get upset with somebody because they said, hey, that's mine, you can't take that. I wanted it, so I'm taking it, and nothing you can do about it. It's kind of the attitude they got here, right? This is not okay. We don't just sit here and go, well, this is the way it is. Oh, our kids have changed. Our kids haven't changed just because we don't want them to experience any pain. We don't want them to go through anything that we went through. But if we look back, and we take long to heal and appreciate those lessons because those built characters in us. So if we don't let our children, how are they going to build that resistance? We don't let them go outside and get dirty. How are they going to build that immunity in themselves? Our poor kids. It's not the kids' fault. Look at the adult examples they have around them. Look at all of us kids in adult bodies. Throwing little tantrums and setting the examples for the kids. What else are they going to do? What else are they going to do? No, baby. Yeah, I got your back. Not here. Let me fight all your battles for you. Let me go up to that little bully in the playground. Hey, little bully. Yeah, you want to mess with my kid? You're going to mess with me. So you be a bigger bully to the bully? Definition of insanity. Like, seriously, people. Seriously. <laughs> Passion. I'm upset. This is hurting my kids. This hurts children. It's not just my kids. I know. That's the empathetic in me, too. Because I'm going through this. Others is going through this, too. Oh, varying not spectrum and hey it all affects us differently right. it all affects us differently so let's 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 how can we transform that energies today whatever we're switching that within Wednesdays find that balance in us today let's find that balance today hmm <laughs> Pull back all of our energies from the east, south, west, and north. We're just doing it quickie, quickie, quickie today. Above, below, and within. Ow! It hurts. Okay, okay. So we're reflecting within. Let's do that first. Let's start with that right. We'll see where that leads us. Okay. Here we go. Purification. So we're going within and purifying. That was part of what we brought out yesterday, wasn't it? So we're still working on that. It can take a lot. Those tears are purifying. Let them flow. Don't try and block them. Don't stop them. I let them flow this morning. You know, I figure, well, I'm not going to put it all out on here because it's... Right? I don't want to be giving anybody fixes if they're getting a fix from seeing me in tears, right? I'm even seeing that in my child, and that's where it's getting hard. Tears. <laughs> Cleansing and purifying. Let them flow, right? It's what mom wouldn't cry. Being ignored by their child, even when they're talking nice, even when they're... You know? When they see... 
their children that's so loving. They see their children tear up when they see their mom hurting and, you know, want them to know it's not their fault, right? And mom needs help, but it doesn't make it your fault because there's something you can do to help doesn't make it your fault, right? And then there's one that it seems to smile when I cry. So it seems to be like this is just a big game. So they've succeeded. If I cry, if I have to go, enough! Because it's gotten too busy. Or I'm like, hey! Right? They don't say anything to me. Don't talk to me. So, but in for you. What, what are you purifying out of that? Where you get hooked up in these thoughts that keep going round, right? Because then I'm like, well, dude, they don't really care about me. And all these people, like, and I, there's nothing I control about the outside. And right? I can only control me inside here. But when my body is... I need to cleanse and purify those thoughts and cleanse and purify and get back to who I am. No matter what, right? Because it's my integrity. If I go and shout, I feel bad. That traumatizes my little who does not like yelling at all. I don't need to be hit. Use an angry voice and I'm like, ooh, terrified. So I do everything I can so I don't get any angry voices. And even my own, right? And that I'm traumatized. So my kids, no, they can push to the point. Mom's out there traumatized. They're in there laughing and playing. They are not traumatized by their mother. So I need to stop projecting that stuff too. So we need to stop projecting that too. If we had rough childhoods, remember? We don't know what's going to be a trauma for our kids. It could be just that the three-year-old came down to show you a picture. Dad's in up to his knees in sewage because the sewage pipe just burst into their basement or something. Right? And the three-year-old comes down with their picture. Hey, Daddy, look at this. Does It's not now. Well, that becomes a trauma. Well, did Dad actually do something to hurt that girl? Was that something intentional? Dad was caught up. So we don't know what's going to be a trauma on our children. Because we're human beings, too. So we need to honor that and not project. Let's cleanse away and purify so we can see beyond our own perceptions and our own experiences of what we went through. So we're not caught up in that. And then we can really relate to what another is going through. Empathy is being open. You know, it's not just feeling that person's feeling, but being open to, hey, maybe they didn't feel it that way. You know what I mean? Because we're feeling it through our feelings. So we're not actually feeling another person's feelings. We say empathy and we get confused in that. We're not actually feeling their feelings. Only they can feel their feelings. We can, you know, get in touch with similar feelings in ourselves, be able to try and relate to that. But we can't feel what they're feeling. We cannot feel what anybody else feels. I don't care how much of an empathetic or psychic you are. You're not in somebody else's body. So you don't know how they feel. Nobody knows how you feel but you. You are the expert on you. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Excuse me, I'm being bossy on that, but still, right? You're the expert on you. Nobody knows you better than you except for your creator. Okay? <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> and I just want you to be you. If you want to, it's up to you. <laughs> be whoever you want to be. Don't be me. You can't be me. I'm me. But well, you can try if you like. I mean, I can't even stop that. I'm swinging, we're gonna swing it till we're feeling so good. Okay, that's the action. So, swinging, swinging action today. Unity and wholeness achieved. That's the actions. We cleanse that out. We come home to who we are. We see we're all in this. We're not projecting everything, but we're still all human beings. Yes, we still all have these human feelings. We can relate to each other's feelings. We can't feel each other's feelings. And even if we could, how would we help somebody to feel their feelings if they need to feel their feelings to grow and to learn from that, right? We don't go and crack that seed open. You don't go and help a butterfly out of a cocoon. It needs to have that struggle. So we can be there and be supportive going away through something similar, you know. I'm here. Whatever you need. Right? That's how we do that. That's how we do that. These are the whirling rainbow, right? The warriors of peace, the whirling rainbow, the warriors of peace. This is the time. 
we're coming into that, right? So let's not scrutinize over every little detail. Let's not be bickering back and forth about which is right, who is right, who is wrong. And then we don't even move, right? And how we're going to achieve this unity. How about everybody being responsible for their own inner peace? Not trying to take it from somebody else. Not trying to have power over anybody that we all belong here at this time. There is not one single human being that's more important, more special than the other. I don't care what your title, how much money you make. We all belong here. We're all important here on this earth. We all deserve to be here. And we're all needed here at this time. There is an inarguable truth. We are in this together. We are all human beings on this earth. Inarguable truth. Well, I guess nothing's inarguable. You can argue anything, really, if you want to. It's up to you. Still doesn't make it any less true. Argue it all you want. It still don't make it any less true. We're in this together, me and you. All of us. Love you. It's swinging. Because I want to go have some fun. It's my girl's champagne birthday. I love my kids so much. Kids get hurt. It's not okay. Not okay. Adults need to f put their own shit away and stop projecting it on the kids. I know. I even look and try and not to do it myself. I'm not innocent. I have. So I try to make up for it. That's my integrity. I'll take responsibility, but I've had to stop taking responsibility for everybody else. I'm not responsible for when these people are making up lies, sharing that with my children. I'm not responsible for what they do. I'm not responsible for their opinions of me in their heads. And I don't care if they're talking about me. Fine, you want to go and gossip about people? Fine. But you know why? You don't do that in front of kids. What are you teaching kids? What are you teaching kids doing that? And what are these kids following, right? Is bullying getting less, even though we have, you know, bullying stops here, all these more awareness? Is that slowing down? No, no, it's blaming the victims more for being too sensitive. the overall theme here. <laughs> Wonder what that's going to be. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, see that picked up some two cards stuck together. Well, I'll give you a little flash of that one that stuck to it. Yeah, the field of plenty. Ideas and needs manifested. How do we do that? Do we manifest it from within? We tap into our source, right? What's that intention, right? Are we intending to fill up from out? Are we intending to put more love into the world? But then yet we complain about what everybody else is doing and who's not putting more love in the world? Well, how are we putting in love into the world then? How are we doing our intention of adding more love when we're criticizing and all that? Right? Do we intend, you know, to be ourselves and focus within? Doing our own cleansing and purifying, right? To become part of that? Or are we scrutinizing every detail of everybody else? Everybody else not doing that, right? Let's give away that idea of that perfect, per, perfection, right? Let's give away the need to control others. Let's give away that feeling that if others aren't complying, they're putting our lives in danger. Let's not make something that's a fad. Okay, and this is not to downplay anything. Serious illness, but there's lots of serious illnesses out there. Even more serious and more deadly than that one that's currently kind of gotten us all in fear. Do your own research about it. Don't follow blindly. That was something else. It's easier to fool people than to convince them that they've been fooled. It's easier to fool someone than to convince them that they've been fooled. Right? Because we get our ego. Ego gets attached. No, that must be true. I couldn't have fallen for that. Whatever that is. I don't know what's going on in this world. I don't know. I'm not in up in, you know, that I can see. You get involved in these relationships, you get gaslighted this way. You can see how this can happen on a bigger scale. I mean, I'm not so naive to think that this only happens in little relationships. This happens on the bigger scale, too. 
commercials. It's great marketing. They know how to do their job. They know how to put those subliminals in there. Educate yourself. Don't follow blindly. And what is your intent? What are you giving away? What are you adding out into that world? More judgment, more harsh criticisms, more of you need to do this, we need to control, control, control those people. Oh, look at those stupid people. Are you passing judgment on people without knowing their stories? Are you in encouraging and condoning abuse by saying, yes, find these people if they're not following all the rules. Let's do this. Let's control the people. I don't want to be controlled. No, but control them. No, no, no. I want my freedom. I want to live my life, but control them. See where we're coming from. What's your intention? What are you giving away? What are you adding out in this world? Are you adding into that unity to bring that wholeness and peace? Are you scrutinizing every little thing everybody else is doing but not looking at yourself? Are you cleansing out your own experiences and purifying your own beliefs? And how is that helping and contributing to the all, right? Are you letting those tears fall? Are you stuffing them in? Are you looking for blame for them? Are you feeling spiteful? You need to go get somebody back for them. Whatever that is. What is your intention in here? What are you giving away? Hmm? Peace and love? Or more criticism? Are you adding more into the criticism and the hate? We all choose for ourselves. What are you choosing? What are you choosing these days? Even if you're staying silent, you're choosing something. You're choosing to stand up and be yourself. Right? I'm going to follow through. I've educated myself. I've got in touch with my own peace. I'm not going to be controlled by anybody outside of me. Right? I follow spirit's lead. I'm connected to that source. Right? I am in the image of my creator. Every single one of us are no exceptions. So are we going to reflect that love out? Or are we going to reflect that, hey, it's okay to be you? Stand tall, strong, and proud, right? Even if that Mack truck comes around, you're like, I am moose. I'm not backing down. I'm being who I am, right? I'm adding in love into this world. That's my intentions. That's what I do. And I'm good at it. So who are you? Give away all that you are not. Intend to be that beautiful reflections. Right. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Right? Oh, we all are this reflection of the divine. We are all in this together. So be you. Fully, holy you. No apologies. And happy birthday to everybody in October. Happy birthday to my girl. And, you know, I'm not trying to give us trouble or anything like that. I'm trying not to do it in a shaming way. We all need to look at ourselves in there, okay? We're all 100% responsible for ourselves. All these full capable bodies, yes, there is some that are still dependent on us. So that's why we need to take care of ourselves. So we're not being resentful of those ones that are dependent on us. All right? And we're not chewing the bits everything that they're doing because they're not looking like us. They're not being a good reflection of us. So let's not chew the bits with their children. They're going to look different. They're going to be them. Right? So let's not scrutinize every detail. Let's not plan their whole lives for them. Let's live ours. Let's get in touch with who we are and show them how it is to stand proud at who you are as a reflection of your divine creator, Mother Earth. Mm -hmm. Okay, love yous. Oh, biggest heart hugs ever. Thank you for being you and shining your light through in everything you do. Because this world needs you. Do that work. Purify. Be you. Fully, holy, and true. And shine that light. Everything you do. This world really, really needs you. Now more than ever. Come on, those whirling rainbow warriors of peace. Let's get together. Yes! Shine, shine your colors proud. Proud. Okay. Proud of spirit. Proud of who we are, those reflections that we are, right? We know what we intend. Peace and love begins within. Love you.